Now, a group of Lithuanian activists have decided to tackle alleged Russian propaganda online. They aim to chase down tweets and posts which they claim are spreading disinformation. With more is Emily Sue. Elves versus trolls sounds exactly like one of those epic battles in The Hobbit, doesn't it? The elves have descended from the fictional kingdom of Middle Earth into Lithuania to embark on their noble battle against. The Russian government has multiple office buildings full of trolls, disseminating pro Russian points of view in comment sections all over the internet. The Kremlin is using the internet to manipulate political opinion. Russians are trying to interfere with this election. Russia uses disinformation and propaganda. And this comes from the highest levels of the Kremlin. Meet the chief elf. No, not that elf, the real one that doesn't glow. I am just a regular citizen of Lithuania. I noticed that Russian propaganda is being spread in this country by groups on Facebook. I thought that can't be normal, so I started delving into it and discovered many more groups. Using their digital bows and swords, this Lithuanian army of elves hunt down fake Facebook accounts and delete hateful pro-Russian comments one by one. And the evil creatures from the Misty Mountains, oh no, 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 sorry, I mean those misty and secretive troll factories in Russia, ah, oh, they don't stand a chance. Emily C reporting there. More news from me in about a half an hour's time. Before that, though, Will Zapart speaks uh, to the Deputy Executive of the UN's Social and Economic Commission about serious chances of rising from the ashes of war. That's to come.